Artificial intelligence. What does it mean? English computer scientist Alan Turing was exploring this as early as the 1940s. He developed a test to measure a computer's ability to exhibit human intelligent behavior. The human evaluator's task, a chat. The replies the person receives will either come from a computer or from a human. The evaluator is to determine which messages are from the machine and which aren't. A few decades ago, that was quite simple, but things are different today. For example, if the evaluator chats with the chatbot Mitsuku, the test runs roughly like this. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and yourself? I'm not so well. Can you cheer me up? Shall I tell you a joke? No, I'm not interested in jokes. Then let me think. We could simply talk. Would you have suspected a chatbot in this dialogue? Of course, language competence is only one of the aspects of intelligence. In many other areas, machines already do a better job than humans, for instance in strategy games such as chess or the Chinese Go. High-performance machines, known as supercomputers, can even help doctors making diagnoses in difficult cases. Supercomputers are also frequently used in the development of chemical products. Is any of this artificial intelligence? There are many approaches to defining the term. One of them. Artificial intelligence means having computers do things at which humans are supposed to be superior. There are still many things that humans can do better. Unexpected situations or discussions, for example, quickly push the computers to their limits. How will it be in 20 or 30 years? No one can predict this yet. Maybe artificial intelligence by then will be as common as the Internet is today. BASF we create chemistry.